Welcome. Let's continue with part 3 in the lighting, which is part 15 in our series. Before we begin, let me ask you a question. While watching a movie, how can you tell if the subject is standing under the shade of a tree or that of a building? If you can't see either in the frame, think about it for a bit. It's how the light from outside the camera frame interacts with the objects within the frame that tells you this information. This is a concept of throwing some light from a source that is not in the scene itself, but represents another relation of the subject to something that is outside the frame. If you see little simmers of light bleeding from the leaves onto the ground, you'll immediately know that the character is standing under a tree. Although light source, which is the sun, and the tree are not in the frame themselves. So this way, the brain sort of comprehends the bigger environment than what is in the frame itself. In our scene, this red light here on the bottom side of the scoop of earth tells you that below this is the lava or earth's core. And although you can't see it, but you can feel it. This is a basic example of expanding your scene using the lights. However, we can go a bit more advanced and talk about gobos, which is short for goes between the optics. Now you can make a simple gobo by just occluding the light with a plane to direct or restrict the flow of light. And in that way, you have control over what parts of the frame the light falls and where it doesn't. So you can break up the plane with different patterns, which will in turn break up the light. You can have different patterns of gobos like windows, clouds, trees, etc. In our Voldemort scene here, I've broken up the plane to give a cloud pattern. You can easily make this by noise generator crunched up by the color ramp. And this then drives the alpha channel of the plane. You can offset the position of this noise and that can give you the illusion of light movement with clouds. You can see the difference in lighting with the gobos and without them. So this is the way you can use lights to tell a bigger story than just what's in the frame. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Like and subscribe if you gathered a thing or two. I will see you soon. Farewell.